Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if iOS 18 is unable to download or unable to install. You want to follow these steps. So let's get started. First thing is you want to make sure that your phone actually supports iOS 18. So the phones that support iOS 18 are listed on Apple's website, but basically they're from iPhone SE second generation and the model that was released in 2020 and the iPhone 10 R and newer up to the iPhone 15 lineup and 16 will come with iOS 18. If you have an older phone, unfortunately, that's not in this list, will not get the official iOS 18 update so you won't be able to download it. Now, another thing you wanna check out if you're still having issues with unable to download iOS 18 or getting it to install, first thing you're gonna go is into your setting and then go ahead into general software update and just check if there's an update. Sometimes it just shows up if you keep on going back and refreshing. If it doesn't show up one time, try it again. If it doesn't show up, don't worry. We're gonna go ahead. First thing is force close out the settings app, pull down the control menu or pull it up and then put your phone on airplane mode briefly. That'll cut off all the connectivity and then we're gonna turn it back off. Once we do that, we're gonna go into our settings again and then go to general software update and check if you're able to download iOS 18 and you should be able to. Now, if you're still unable to or download it, the next thing you wanna move on to is your connectivity of using Wi-Fi instead of cellular data. And the reason why that is, because iOS 18 is a big package software update. It requires strong Wi-Fi. So if you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection, make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi, of course, uh, try recommend not using cellular, try using Wi-Fi to do that, to connect to a Wi-Fi. Now, along with that, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is make sure your phone is charged. If it's not charged, make sure it's charged to 50% or more, connected to a charger, and in the settings as well, under your battery option, if you have low power mode turned on, that will reduce certain things that like downloads. So we need to turn that setting off so you can actually download the update itself and while you're doing it just go ahead and charge it and you'll see once you charge it the update should be able to download as well and if still not downloading the next thing you want to check out in the settings here is go to your general and then iphone storage make sure you have enough storage available so the the update itself requires close to 10 gigs or so i recommend having 10 gigs or more space available here it will show you on your phone how much storage you have available or space left. I have 93 gig, but if you're below 10 here, try deleting some apps, some uh, long format videos, basically to clear some space up so you can get that download to actually download for your phone. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is go ahead and try this method, which is gonna be, you're gonna quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes black, and once you see the Apple logo, you let go of that side button. So it's gonna be volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like I am right now. I'm gonna wait for the screen to go completely black before we let go of that side button. So as you can see here, I'm holding on to that side button, waiting for that Apple logo to appear, and then I let go. And this method is safe. It will not delete any of your personal data. All it's doing is shutting down the phone, reloading the code. So if something is causing that iOS 18 download uh, to not be able to download, it will go ahead and fix it. And once you're back on, again, make sure you're connected to either Wi-Fi or sell your data, and then go into your settings again, and then retry into going to general software update and check if the update is available. If it says it's not there, just wait or refresh again, and then you should see it being able to go ahead and download the update. Now, if it's still not working for you, the next thing you wanna do in the settings here, go to general, go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and we're gonna do a network reset. Basically, a network reset will reset things like saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices, and any connectivity issue causing your phone not to be able to download that iOS 18 update and you'll be able to download it. And hopefully after doing that, it is working for you. Now, if all of these methods are not working and you're still not able to download iOS 18, consider updating your iPhone through your computer using uh, iTunes or the new Finder app on a newer MacBook which we are gonna show you on another video that does take a little bit of time, but that's an alternative way to get iOS 18 to download and install on your iPhone. 
And I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.